Are you listening here? He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? for joining in for day one of the planet zoo streaming zoo uh, adventure that we've been going on live on youtube guys if you are new to the channel please make sure you hit that subscribe button give us a good old thumbs up and uh, leave a comment below on what animal you want to see in the next part of the zoo we have two entrances so we have our now i i call this our chester zoo um entrance this is a very traditional brick and uh, ivory and then if we go all the way over to this end now we haven't put we've only put exhibits down at the moment we haven't got any um uh habitats in here yet but we that is what we're going to be doing today we're going to be adding some habitats now this is our modern entrance now here we have our modern entrance with our um all of our staff uh units Plus a nice little, now these bits here, this, this is our like open center sort of thing. Um, this is, um, yeah, our open center, but it has like these little, little, little bits here for animals. So we can have some really small animals in here, um, some slightly bigger animals here, some bigger animals here. And we've got some shops and toilets. So, and information. So that, that is where we're at at the moment. So let, let's, let's play. We've got a couple of red markers up here. So let's see what's going on here. Uh -oh. uh, Vets work zone does not include a habitat. Right, so that is because we don't have any habitats yet. So we need to get some animals. Guys who are in chat, what do we fancy? What, what do we want to put in our... Uh, in our zoo Can we have uh, a woolly, woolly mammoth or crabs lots of crabs? No. <laughs> woolly mammoth. No, we can have descendants of woolly mammoth so we can have elephants um, And we have things like uh, buffalo and Bison It's about the closest you can get to a woolly mammoth, but yeah, let's just go through some of the animals we have bison camels uh, We have Bengal tigers, wildebeest, let's go to the next page, uh, bongos, we have uh, ch ch basically chimpanzees, uh, orangutans, cheetahs, Chinese pangol pangolin, 
uh, white, uh, Colombian white faced monkeys. Uh, we have some uh, ostriches. We have uh, warthogs, dingoes, and dingoes, black bear, tortoises, um, gems book, which are basically like gazelle, uh, saltwater crocodiles. That's, that's that's basically all they are. Uh, pandas, uh, flamingos, grizzly bears. Brown bears, hippopotamuses, Indian elephants. Now I have two of the expansion packs. So I've got the basic game and I have the Australian and the South American packs at the moment. Uh, Indian peafowl, Indian rhinos, jaguars, uh, Japanese monkeys, koala bears, lemurs, mandrills, uh, Nile monsters. We have... Uh, Lots and lots of African uh, African animals, uh, zebras, antelope, kangaroos, red pandas. Um, the visitors are demanding a Timon and Pumba enclosure. <laughs> we can do a Timon and Pumba enclosure. That's that's fine. Um, no, we can't because I haven't got the meerkats. No. No, I haven't got the meerkats yet. That is... Sorry. Uh, let's have a look. DLC. Yeah, it's in the African pack. Meerkats, straight away. Uh, chat, is that something we, we would want? Would we want to do a Lion King exhibit? Because we can do it. Because there's obviously there's more than just lions in there. We can put... Um, we put the lions, we can put the warthogs, we can put the meerkats once we get them. Um, oh, what? Is... <laughs> Good question for Google. What animal, animals are in the Lion King? So we have hyenas, which we've got. Meerkats, we don't have. Common warthogs, we do have mandrills we have hornbill we don't have the spotted hyenas we have the thompson's gazelle we have we have monkeys we have zebras we have antelope haven't we got oxen we've got wild bit what wild blue wild beasts bat eared fox we haven't got that's definitely in the african pack that was that doggy thing we saw at the end uh, wo uh wolves we have spotted hyenas and curious so we do have, we have everything, animals that are in the Lion King. The only ones we don't actually have are the meerkats, uh, or, or, oxen, O R Y X oxen. Is that? I don't know. Let's have a look. Have, have we got those? Um, o Y. No. O O R. No, no, so we don't have those. But we can still do a pretty big, so that's what, two, three, three species of animal we don't have in, in, in it. Will the, anim, uh, will the animals do perfectly choreographic routines of, I just want to be king. Uh, I very much doubt it. I very much doubt it, but we can we can we can make it. One thing actually, can series um, that you'll actually like is we have this. So we have an enclosured version, and we have just the item version. So we do actually have um, Pride Rock. So there's the actual just item, and then where's the enclosure? Uh, we have lots of like rock caves and Sahara. Um, let's see. Where's the actual enclosure? I know it's here somewhere. Ah, there it is. So we actually have a full enclosure of Pride Rock. So it has all the trees and has all the rocks and everything else. So. 
we can actually do a Lion King enclosure. And then what we can do, actually, is say we have the enclosure here, in this space here. We can go, uh, let's take that out. We can use, edit this. Drop this down. So we could take out welcome and put Lion King. Thought you were going to leave that sentence. I really, really had a nice entrance then. <laughs> no, we can say this. So first thing we need to do is we need to make sure A, we're close enough to this. Um, right, I am feeling as the entrance of the, yeah, as the entrance of that is there, let's go directly opposite. So let's put a path in. Uh, right, let's go. Can I have? It's very quiet without it, and I don't want to put any music on because YouTube had an absolute fit at me yesterday because I've had to change the intro because we got demonetized for using Pompeii. So, uh, play soundtrack in pause menu only. No, I don't want it in pause menu only, all the time. Mute non voice audio during. No. Mute, mute, no. That's a plug I want. The music playing all the time. Uh, animal settings. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll live without it. Um, right, so let's do a par. <laughs> Hi, Eden. Bye, Eden. Yeah, she, she's... Um, She's, she's coming up in hives on her face and a bit of eczema on her arm. And we think it might be um, down to her, because she's cutting some teeth, uh, down to her dribbling on her pillow. Right, so we want this to be nice and straight. So let's go here. Yeah, Mrs. C was going to get me to message you the other day, Kev, um, to ask if you had any rainbow braces or ties or any, or jumpers or anything for this weekend and I was like no because it's going to take forever to get here and I lose it or damage it and Conceris is going to kill me so no um, but yeah I'm basically I'm working pride at the bar this year right. how's that? Should that look good? Pop that down there. Right. Now let's see if we can edit this. Uh, this one. Um, the only rainbow clothes I had, I had for Pride, isn't something that you'd want to wear. Okay, I'll let I'll let Mrs. C know. Uh, I need an eye. Should I just delete all of it and start fresh? Okay, I don't know how to make it make it bigger. That's the colour editor. I don't want the colour editor. Very 
No. What's this one? Why is this bigger? Ah, yeah, there we go. Why that C? It should be a G. Let's put the N in place. Some lion flat pictures, like sign pictures, sort of thing. What do you think, chat? Kinsaris. Lion King exhibit. 
Actually, is that? That's not flat. But let's see. start of our Lion King exhibit. Okay, exit that. So now what we need to do is put our path and go in. Actually that's so we've got a bit of noise going on in the background. change the path here. I, I feel we need something a bit more African lion-ish. Earth path. Yeah, that looks much better. first let's put in the spotted hyenas I feel like they're gonna be a good starting point uh, right next I want to put some rocks in here I want to block off South Shields. Here we go, chat. Should we do this? Hello? Speaking. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, no, we don't. And to be fair, um, I've already done the compare the market and who I'm with, I'm not going to get any cheaper. Go away. I'm not giving away details like that. Two days. 
I'm not taking any more. I think I might just embarrass the next slide away. Right, so we'll do the other side once we start doing um, exhibits that side. Right, barriers. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky because I need to figure figure out what barriers we're going to use. Um, uh, might use Gibbon. It's quite tough. Resistance grade five. It is climbable, but I'm pretty sure I can. Um, I can uh, make it non-climbable at the top. And obviously we'll make it high enough that the uh, spotted hyenas are not just going to be able to climb out. Right, so let's go here. I want to give them some space to play with, but obviously I don't want to take up the whole exhibit. Should be enough. What we're going to do is we're going to be really cheeky and uh, let's go through these. And we're going to make um, two-way glass so you're gonna be able to see those the, the spotted hyenas but they are not gonna be able to see you there we go right let's get our spotted hyenas Now, if memory serves, if you ever play this game, only get one female spotted hyena. Because the female in the hyena packs is the alpha. So what we're going to do is, whilst we wait for those, we're just going to go to staff. We're going to go to work zones. And we're going to edit our current work zone. to include the spotted hyena. So that means all my staff, all 28 of them, will now be able to attend the spotted hyena um, exhibit, well, habitat. All right, so we need to pause very quickly because they're not happy. Right, the exhibit, is the habitat is not big enough at all. So first thing we need to do is go to barriers and we need to make this a wee bit bigger. So they need more soil, just the right amount of short grass. So we can take some of that out, and everything else is fine. So terrain, and we go to uh, painting, soil light. Add some soil light down this side, um, and then a little bit of long grass. There we go. Add a bit of rock as well. Let's just do smooth rock this side. And we need to just add, change some of that up for short grass. And 
that is perfect. Right. Now for that enrichment. So we go down to habitat, down the bottom. You can't see it because of the bar, unfortunately. Uh, but you can see this. So we go to filters, we go to species, and we go all the way down to S, and we find the spotted hyena. And that will filter everything else out that they can't use. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do them a shelter. Because they're already complaining that the there is no hard shelter. So rock cave. This is huge. Um, if I add that, am I going to have to expand their enclosure? Um, where's that other rock one? The smaller rock one. There was a smaller rock one. Okay, let's just go with uh, a wooden shelter instead then. 8 by 2 Pop it there. And they're happy with the shelter. Right, cool. So first thing we do is we're going to do food and water. So is that a large one? Yeah, go large food tray. We're going to go here, one here, one here. Water. We're going to go two bowls, one here, one here. Right, enrichment, food enrichment. So we're going to go bamboo feeder there, dog ball there. I'm trying to keep all the food to one side. Um, and then in the middle, we're going to go for that. And a zebra toy. Right. Toy enrichments, so let's do a couple of four ones. Snowball, a couple of gift boxes. They like to rummage in the gift boxes, that's why they let's give them a normal ball. Alright, so now they're a hundred percent. So what we need to do here is two-way glass. Make sure it's facing the right way. That's it. And then make this two-way glass. It's facing the right way. That's right. Actually what I'm going to do is It's just one sheet. One sheet is plenty. And then we're just going to this up to uh, let's go three and a half meters high um, and then climb proof on both sides that way they shouldn't be able to if they can climb it they should be able to climb over the top and that is our first exhibit in the Lion King area. So let's just check on these guys, make sure they're okay. Everything's good. They're happy with that. Plant coverage is fine. 
We're not particularly massive plant people. Let's put a couple of things in for them, I think. But, um, let's... Grassland. They like that? Well, they like that. So let's put a couple of those in. Just give them a bit of exuberance. That's way too big. And a bit of shade in certain areas. There we go. They've got more than enough coverage. Happy with their toys. Adult population is fine. And genetics is good. Okay. Well, there we go, chat. That is our first exhibit. But it doesn't just end there. Oh, no, no. So now what we need to do is we need to check to make sure that the area is covered by electric. Which it is not completely. See how those bits here missing? So what we're going to do is we are going to add a power generator to this end. And we're going to add that to our work zone. So that is covered. Right, that is all covered now by electric. So what we need to do is... <coughs> drink Devices and education. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pop one of these in there, which is an educational con con conversation board. And then we're going to add a hyena speaker there and a screen in there. And is that? That's the right way around. Just making sure. And change this to spotted hyena. Change that to spotted hyena. I'm just going to see how far we can push this audio out. Perfect. And our conversation is going to be poaching on exotic animal trades. There we go. Right. Now, facilities. I guess facilities. screen keep doing this. Right, there we go. So we're in Africa, so we need to do some African field shops and whatnot. So let's put that uh, there. And then African large toilet there. And we know that it is going to be powered. Because remember we did the whole Add an extra generator. So let's do uh, what shop wise should we do? Let's do a food and a drink. Uh, let's do let's do a slushy for the drink. Toilet in this end because uh, it doesn't like trying to add it too close to a barrier. Uh, then we need large shop shell. There we go. All right, drink. We decided we're going to go with the slushy. Let's 
slushy there. And then we're going to go uh, hot dog stand there. All right. Uh, let's get some African bins in it. Put another African large shell in. May have to move that bin because we actually want to get uh, information. Oh no, information center in there. So let's do uh, just a memento. And there. there we go. All right, uh, finance. Let's do ATM there. And one there. And we want to get some donation pots in here as well. So people can give if they like the hyenas. Uh, right, so that's not what I wanted actually. <laughs> um, I wanted signs, standing signs. Okay, so we got hot dog, just momentum. Information sign. No, I don't know what I would do. No, customizable signs and then shop signs. So, no, we don't have any of those at the moment. Okay, right. My frogs. My frogs. There's far too many animals in here, I can tell you that now. Right. So what we need to do, every month or so in game, or every year in game, just basically go to your animals and check on their welfare. Um, now this is going to be because they're overcrowded. So I like to basically leave two males and two females in the exhibit. To continue in the population um, and then we're just going to release them to the wild which is a great way if you're playing non sandbox mode to get conservation points which is really really helpful okay so we've got our spotted hyenas we've got some shops what is next on our list common warthog okay so let's do let's do common warthog over here now, common warthog, I know we can get away with having a wooden log fence. So that is what we're going to do. It is now snowing. So my red count is going to go f mental now because uh, animals don't, unless they're traditionally snow animals, don't really like the snow.
10. And again, we need to add a um, gate to this. So obviously they, the keepers can take the animals to the zoo, or to the, uh, to the enclosure. So we're just gonna do a nice little path here. And this is something I like doing. Uh, blueprints, go to staff. We just put a little staff sign. Okay, common animals reset. Common warthog. And for these, we're just going to buy all four. There's no need to minimize on how many males and females, which is quite nice. Many guests think the tickets are underpriced. Okay, so let's go uh, seven for adults and five for children. There we go. Okay, so we need, we need to repair some bits. These are quite simple. These are just click and request the mechanic to go fix them. And spotted hyenas are not happy about the temperature. Bet they're not. Just put some. Uh, I forgot to put some bedding in their habitat. So they've got plenty of space. I need the snow to go. There we go. Right, so more long grass. Yep. Yeah. Uh, more short grass, less long grass, more soil. So we need to go to terrain. Let's get rid of some of this long grass. Water treatment failed. What? Yeah, I've got a mechanic coming. So that's at my other, I need to uh, add that to the work zone, don't I? Edit work zone. There we go. That's that, yeah, they're all being dealt with. Someone's here. Guests think tickets are overpriced. Okay, six and four. Right, terrain. What do we need? We need soil, don't we? Let's shrink the size of that. Let's put some soil in. There we go, perfect. Okay, so what do we need? One of them is injured already. Send him to quarantine. Okay, so we need to go to habitat. We need to reset that. We need to go to species. Uh, and then we need to scroll down again to find common warthog. And then we just need to do the same thing we did with the hyenas. So we need to find a nice, nice habitat for them. Look, there it is. Savannah rock shower. The one I was looking for for the hyenas. Ugh. Let's see. They like that as their habitat. They like that as their habitat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that and then we're gonna add just a, another one over here as well. And then add some. This one's gonna be a grass or leaf. 
bedding. Oh, they don't like that. Okay, let's get rid of that. They liked the idea of of the extra shelter. But they didn't like the grass. Okay, we'll leave it as it is. Uh, we need to add just a little bit more grass along. Um, just because they're complaining about it. There we go. A little bit of grass along. Right, now we need to go to habitat. Uh, yeah, habitat. And we need to go. We've done the shelter, so we now we need to do some enrichment. So let's put a foraging pot or foraging pit. A couple of these down. And a barrel. Toy wise, let's put a couple of these trees down. Mud pit. Now we just need to put down the food containers. One here and one here. And then let's give them a water trough there and there. Call the vet, call the assistant. And then what we need to do is we need to change this one to two-way glass. Make sure we can see through it and they can't. Yep. And then we need to add our education because that is what it is all about, chat. Um, right, let's... So we need to lower that hyena one. Uh, we need to put... One of these here, and then just a educational monitor there. Okay, let's do. Um, preparing the ozone layer there. Common warthog. Change that to common warthog. We need to make this a bit bigger. So then we need to make this one a bit smaller. So they don't cross, because that makes guests very angry when they hear two conflicting different sets of information. Right. And there we go, chat. We have our spotted hyenas. We have. Um, cowpox virus one of my warthogs has All right so now we're going to go to my blueprints now like I said anyone who's played this game in the past should know about this but if you don't make sure you go to the steam workshop for this game and uh, go and check out all the blueprints because there is some absolutely amazing ones in there all right let's uh one connect our next one's a mandrill so the monkey i.e rafiki from the movie there's a monkey habitat but i have a mandrill mandrills sure i Mandrill Paradise. Here we go. This one's slightly higher. 
So we will have to raise the path for this one. But that's fine. We need to do a staff path. Oh, she's good to me, chat. She's too good to me. She's asleep. Yeah. She's still asleep when I finish one. Okay. Take some tablets for this headache. I reckon it's the humidity and the pressure in the air. It's been going on for three days now. It's ridiculous. Let's see, she's brought me some lunch. So I will have to cut that out of the YouTube video. Meeting. Right. So this one is going to be slightly different. So the path. Let me think about the actual guest's path, but hey. The path for this. I'm going to have to... over the staff path and then we back down to one here Round. And then rejoin up here. And this side. Do the same. I think we'll just have the one male and the one female to start with. See how we get on. Send to zoo. There we go. I think we need. We're going to need to add a uh, staff facility here. We have to have a. Large keeper's hut. So hopefully that hasn't got too much negative. Um, no, it's fine. Okay, so yeah, we've got our we've got our pumbas, we've got our hyenas, we've got our um, rafikis, all from the Lion King. Oh, Mandrill's about to give birth. She has given birth. Hey, 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 come here. Where'd you go? You're in the tree. No, I don't want the tree, I want the monkey. Where'd you go? Lost him. Anyway. 
So I think <clears throat> we're now getting to the point where we need to uh, we need to add like the main attraction for the for this particular part of the zoo. So let's see if we have enough space this side to do the whole lion habitat. Which I don't think we're going to. No. So I'm gonna go to paths. I'm gonna delete some of this path. Blueprints. burnt through four gig of mobile date today whilst out and about normally that would bother me but today my unlimited plan started nice well I hope if you've been out and about watching us that um, we haven't annoyed you too much by using all your data uh, done it again didn't I I've done a normal path for a staff area Need to change this to staff path. Not that it makes a major difference because the public are not going to be able to get to the staff section anyway. But it's nice to keep a little bit of continuity. There we go. There it is slightly raised. So, what we'll do is we'll go to terrain. We will raise, uh, raise this bit of path here. Raise this ground. Uh, where my signal was good, I was watching. Was watching before when waiting in the direct link. Nice. to terrain it won't do underneath the path that's not what I want I want to basically hide almost the staff path you'll still see it but you want to be able to hide it a little bit that sounds like Eden's just woke up just said that we like to do the all the decorating afterwards but uh, I just had a really pretty awesome idea that I want to do uh, <clears throat> and in the cure in the queue outside the bank so you're, uh, so you sussed the terraforming, yes. Uh, the Disneyland approach, hide, hide and any and all staff routes and rooms, yes. 
So that is, I've done it before actually on one of my other maps where um, I actually put all of the staff rooms, power generators, water generators, everything underground. Um, I don't particularly want to do that this time. What I want to do is I want to be able to just sort of draw your eye away from the staff stuff is the plan. Um, you know, Disney have done, if Disney the Jews actually, they've done a really good job in their theme parks and whatnot to uh, hide a lot of the staff stuff. So yeah, yeah, if I take inspiration from that, then yeah, so be it. I think it's a good idea. Right, path, guest path. So we want to go sort of just around the outside. Uh, perception filter, you know, it's there, but you don't want to look at it. Yes. Precisely, Brian, precisely. Is that whole... I don't particularly want to see the power generators or the staff work zones or anything like that. So I'm just not going to look. But I know it's there. Okay, so this is... Path... It's going to go round, but not completely around the line enclosure. The one thing this game does actually does really, 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 really well, um, and I didn't even think about it until I got really like sort of in depth with it, um, is the fact that if you have a section of the land that's separated by water. You still need to put a barrier around it, but they put what's called a null barrier. So the barrier is there, uh, but the actual barrier that stops the animal is the water. Let's go as far as that next barrier pillar. There we go. Next we need to move this because it's currently in the path. Move. Beautiful. Right. I just like things to be sort of nice, if that makes sense. There we go. In the corner of your eye, yeah, yeah, precisely, Brian. It's it's there, but it's just in the corner of your eye. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna worry about that. It's only rocks that are really sort of protruding onto the path that I want to move. to that path. There we go. Cut that one out. And then we need to add some... Guys, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a good, good old thumbs up and uh, leave a comment below on what animal you want to see in the next part of the zoo.